guys are loops down to a T. Yeah, <laughs> loops sure. and when the biggest advantage we got is we've hunted these properties for so long that when we see a bird in a certain spot, we a lot of times know what they're going to do. Know yeah. where to go. So we can we can get ahead of them, cut them off, yeah. push them where we need to, do or whatever. Or if they're not in, or if they're in a spot where we don't think we can kill them, we'll just leave them be. Yeah. You know. So Wait, I've noticed that's, too. I mean, that's how we killed your bird this afternoon. We knew where that bird was going to end up. Right. And yeah. That's what killed him. That's what I'm saying too. There's been a few times where you've seen birds in fields, and you're just like, "Yeah, we'll let them be. Keep going." We and probably got to talk a little louder than normal. No, it's good. Yeah. I got it set. Good. Yeah, I got it set. All right. We're talking fairly. So that actually yeah. happened um, with the bird Josh shot. We spotted that bird at about eight thirty, nine o'clock this morning. Yeah. 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 Mm. And he was further west. Um, on a neighboring property knew he would end up back just from history of where we've seen these birds travel knew he would end up back in the field that we shot him in we came back about uh, 45 minutes to an hour later didn't see him and then we came back here three hours about, later and he was right long. in the money spot yeah nice I didn't realize that you guys had seen him this morning too yeah he, he was, called it too. We he said, you know what I'm feeling. I think we're gonna find that bird up there. Yeah, by Skinner. He did. We've had uh, just that spot is just an afternoon spot. We've it's how it's always been later in the weeks. We catch those birds in the mid mornings and early afternoons there. I don't know what it is. We just have we have certain properties that well, for a few exceptions, you know, up around where a lot of our main turf is, where it seems like birds are out this year all day long. But you'll get those ones where you only see them in the mornings or only in the afternoons and it's just patterning them throughout the season and yeah. you kind of use a little bit of past history on on some of these properties and just to figure out what they're going to do but for sure yeah you guys really have it dialed into a science out here it's pretty cool to see you were talking about that bird crossing over onto that other property this morning and i was like you know, how the hell does he know that? You know, that was my first thought, but it's just not because of you. It just would have been that way with anyone. Like, how, yeah. do, you, how do you know what a turkey's going to do? Sure, well, shit. Well, I think it's interesting, That's what too. He did. There's a lot of times where we'll see birds, and Mike is, has so much experience on all these properties where he says, I know they're going to be here by the time we get here. He just knows where they're going to be just from years of seeing what they're gonna do. So well, it's like a good example of that is actually the bird Josh shot. Cause remember when we got, we had to cut along the edge of this field and we followed like a, a trail that led us along the field and then it popped back out on the field. And and you wanted to set up where the trail popped out. I'm like, no, we gotta get right there. Yep. And we went another 50 yards and we literally met that bird right, yep. right in his wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. Yep worked out perfect i mean it helps you know we we killed birds just recently like that the same way yeah we've struggled actually on that property in the past on figuring out how to make moves on them and we're starting to kind of dial it in um but it's just a matter of trial and error like you mm -hmm. just we we fail a hell of a lot more than what we kill birds and eventually they get in spots where they're just in the wrong spot at the wrong right time, time right spot at the wrong time <laughs> yeah well even like thinking about the bird i killed i think i had said that was the fourth time i had gone in yeah. on that spot yeah, yeah. i mean we just kept days. we just I mean, kept going in on that bird and going in and then eventually we said we're not doming them just going just had, there and we always seen him in the corner of the pond there and he's gonna work the edge and you guys ran right into him then yeah yeah we said when we spotted them normally we would always come in from that east side by yours there yeah and come at them that way and we spotted that bird and i told brennan i'm like we got to change up our angle at coming at this bird because they're so used to us either being in that fence gap or coming up the logging road so we changed our whole position and i mean we did get lucky on how he came to us but we knew from mike i mean over the years they always end up in the green field to the south and that's kind of where we thought he was going to end up and Comstock and I were slipping up that edge. Hey, hey, hey. Big bird. <laughs> oh, big, big bird. It's not sticking. Big bird and I were slipping up the edge, and sure enough, a hen popped out 50 yards in front of us, and I knew it was only a matter of time before 
he was going to be there, and he actually got to us quicker than we thought. But <laughs> but it goes to show, up. even if he would have been where we thought he would have stayed, we yeah. would have been in pretty good position either oh, way. Oh, yeah, we just had to wait him out. Yeah. yeah.